So we have the case of the poorly rendered JPEG math quiz, which seems kind of fun, but there'll be a lot of mistakes. What does that mean? This is a bigger version I found on Google Images when I scanned the image into Google's search. So let's take a look at the weird things that are going on here. First off, we have a pair of sneakers, a pair of sneakers, a pair of sneakers, and then we have a dude, a dude, and a pair of sneakers. Then we have two cannolis, or straps, and two cannolis or straps, and a dude. Then we have a sneaker, not two sneakers. Then we have a dude, but look, are there guns in his hands? And are those feet the same, or the compression? You can't really tell, it's really poorly drawn. I mean, poorly rendered. And then you have a cannoli. Then of course you have a multiplication, after you've done addition, 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 addition. Your brain falls asleep, addition, addition, and it just messes up right there completely. So let's get rid of that completely and take a look at the better one that's on the left side. Boom. All right. So we have a pair of sneakers, a pair of sneakers, a pair of sneakers equals 30. All right. A guy, a guy, a pair of sneakers, straps, straps, plural, and a guy. A single sneaker, a guy wearing single sneakers, which is one pair, and a strap if you look really close, but you can't really see it. So I blew it up so you can. So that's even blown up and it looks like crap. So again, the artist did a terrible job trying to illustrate this idea. So it really wasn't a genius who developed this uh, illustration as is. Here we go. Let's hide those guys. Let's hide this too. Let's take a look at this from left to right. It makes it a little easier to see what's going on. All right, so let's start to do the math. Starting off in a normal looking, not hard to understand kind of illustration. We have sneakers and five. So let's not use S, right? Instead, we're just gonna use a, B, and C, and D is the answer. So we have A plus A plus A equals 30. But wait a second. Go all the way over here, and we have a sneaker too. So is that one or two sneakers? It is one. So we will call one sneaker A. Over here, technically, that's sneaker plus sneaker, and sneaker plus sneaker, and sneaker plus sneaker. So that's two times a, two sneakers plus 2a plus 2a equals 30. Now, you can take those multiply with a plus and just do 4a and 6a. So we have 6a equals 30. Six sneakers. How much does each one cost? If you divide six on both sides, you can find out the total and how many each one will cost and find out the a, which is an individual sneaker is six times five, which is 30. So you have five over one, or A equals five. Our answer is A equals five. Each sneaker is five units of whatever. Then instead of guy, we'll put B, we can call it boy, plus boy. Plus, is this a sneaker or is it technically sneaker plus sneaker equals 20? So really that's B plus B, plus 2a equals 20, because we've done this over here. So b plus b, just like this, is 2b plus 2a equals 20. Let's substitute for what we know. a equals 5. 2b plus 2 times 5 equals 20. It could also look like this, 2b plus 2 times 5. Same difference. So 2b plus 10 equals 20. Let's look at it this way. Two tickets for friends at the movies. Tickets. Two tickets. And popcorn equals 20. Okay, so we have two tickets and a popcorn is $20. We don't want the popcorn. So Popcorn's 10 bucks. So let's take a look. 2B 
for tickets plus ten dollars equals twenty dollars for the movies. But wait, I don't want to buy popcorn, so I'm going to take it out, and they'll fix the adjustment in the register. Over here, my total was twenty dollars minus ten because I didn't have to pay for it, right? So two B plus ten minus ten is zero equals twenty minus ten equals ten. Get rid of zero because you never add zero. It doesn't do anything. 2B equals 10. Divide by 2 to find out how much each ticket was. So B here, 5 times 2 is 10, equals 5. B equals 5. There you go. Now, they did this on purpose because you've got 30 here, 20 here, and 3 items here, and 2 and 1, which is similar to the one. So your brains can combat that, go back and forth. Ah, oh, they can't be the same. So you'll think that there must be something different if you're just starting out in algebra. Not the case. Next up, we have straps. So we'll call them C plus C plus the guy we call B equals 13. But look here. We also have a strap here. Okay. So that's technically C plus C plus C plus C. So that's 2C plus 2C plus, plus B equals 13. So just like here, over here, you add these together. 4C plus B equals 13. What's B? B is 5. 4C plus 5 equals 13. All right. Four kids meals <laughs> are whatever plus Five dollars, say, for a toy or something else, a single toy. So that's, ah, here you go. Kids meals plus five dollars for parking is thirteen dollars. This is parking for whatever reason equals thirteen bucks. All right, well, I don't want parking. So I'm going to do the kids meals plus parking. But I changed my mind. I don't want parking equals thirteen bucks for the total of all that stuff minus I didn't want a kids. I didn't want parking, so we have four C plus zero because that evens out equals thirteen minus five, which is eight. Four C equals eight over four because you want to find out how each meal is. How many times is four going to eight? Four times two, so C equals two. There's your answer for that. Now let's go up here. And we'll take a look at the strange thing going on. At first, you might think A plus B times. You might even put a plus because you got tired. But that's times. All right. A plus B times C. But here's the problem. Remember, look close at his feet and at his hands. And I'll blow it up again. And I'll put these on top of all this stuff so you can see what's going on. Remember, the guy's got straps on his hands now, and he has sneakers, which you can only see in a higher resolution image. So, let's hide this. So let's define what this new thing, let's call this, if you would, let's call the guy E, if you would. Uh, no, let's call him D. All right, we'll go alphabetical. So, this dude is now D. A plus D a plus D times C equals question mark. Well, question mark is also a piece of artwork, so let's just call that E. Okay? A plus D times C equals E. This is to get you idea of replacing iconography with the alphabet, so that way it'll help you, you know, do it algebraically. So D equals this dude plus sneakers plural left and right sneakers plus uh, left and right straps or cannolis depending on how you see that horrible illustration so D equals the guy which is B he's the dude equals 5 and his sneakers are over here a plus A. A equals 5. So two sneakers, A plus A, is 5 plus 5, right? So two sneakers is 10. So we have 10. 
and then we have two straps. Let's look at the straps. Here it is. Straps are here. So a strap plus a strap is two plus two, so that would be four. So the dude in this that we just called D, right? D equals 5 plus 10, which is 15, plus 4, which is 19. So let's replace that. A plus D times C equals our question mark, which equals E. A equals what? Let's go over here. A equals 5 plus, remember, multiplication. I'll show you that in a second, but we're going to do this. D times C, and D is 19 and C is two equals E, our question mark. So five plus 38 equals E. 38 plus five is 43. 43 equals E. So the question mark equals 43. Now, why did I multiply first in this when it's a plus d times c, when it looks like it's going from left to right. You'll look this up, and it's called P-E-M-D-A-S, PEDMAS. All right, P is for parenthesis, and you see, in this case, 19 times 2, right? E is for exponents, which we didn't use here. That would be like 3 to the second power, or even better, 2 to the third power. A power looks like this. 2 times that number times that number. So that'd be 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. That's how powers work, which you can look up. Exponentiation. Powers. Now, m, obviously, is multiply. Multiplication. And we have 4 times 2. In this case, we have okay. Then we have m for multiply, which is inside the parenthesis. So we're just simply going to look for things that multiply without a parenthesis, right? We saw up there that we had this new kind of guy multiplied by the strap. So that would be D times C. What else do we have? Addition. So that would be something to the event of... That would be something to the event of A plus A, for instance, or 2A plus 2A plus 2A. That's addition. And subtraction, obviously, would be something to the event of up here, 20 minus 10. So you would look for things that would have parentheses first. Then you would again, in like a, a nested loop, PEMDAS, also go from PEMDAS inside that as well. So if we did parentheses first before anything else, and there aren't any parentheses, but if, if there were, that would be first. What's inside of that are no parentheses, but there's a multiplication right here. This is first, goes this way, this is last, order of operation. You do those first, then those. In our case, we have multiplication, then one, two, addition. So that would be third and fifth. So you do multiplication first, then the addition afterwards. That's why it turns out to be five plus 19 times two, or 38, and then you do the addition for the total of 43. And that's it. Look up PEMDAS, try to not use illustrations that are this crappy, and maybe break things down, not always this way, but sometimes visually from left to right if you can. And that's all. Good luck. Oh, and thank you for watching. Dun, da, da, da. We figured it out. Or maybe I could do like a, a pipe and a monocle or something. I don't know. Thanks.